So minimally invasive surgery is done for over 95% of any thoracic pathology done here at New York Presbyterian. We were early adopters of minimally invasive technology, so we're proud to say here that we've been doing minimally invasive lung surgery and esophageal surgery probably longer than anyone in the country. But what we've seen is that because of our research here, we are able to now offer minimally invasive surgery now to patients that 10 years ago we wouldn't have considered. 95% of all the surgeries that we do for lung cancer in this hospital or indeed for esophagus cancer are minimally invasive. It means that instead of having a big incision and the spreading of the ribs to go inside and do what you need to do, you make two or three little holes or you can do it robotically as well with four or five little holes and operate by looking at a video with a camera inside the patient. Anything from hiatal hernia repairs for a GERD to first rib resections to sympathectomies, um, we really try to approach everything minimally invasively and the patients always recover faster and do better. With the adoption of minimally invasive techniques and robotic treatments and surgery, we have seen a rapid return to a high quality of life. Many of our patients are now at home without narcotics after just a couple of days of discharge. I mean, that is an incredible development from just 10 years ago through an open approach where these patients often were out of commission for up to a month after surgery. Right now, there are a lot of advances in bronchoscopy. There are robotic techniques. There is robotic bronchoscopy. All these things are things that we are keen on being on the cutting edge of. Basically, every patient that we see is a candidate for minimally invasive surgery. We really try to make an effort to approach almost any size tumor this way because it does allow for an easier recovery, a faster recovery, less complications, and the patients resume their normal life at a quicker rate. Minimally invasive techniques allow us now to remove esophageal cancers at the same level with the same improved survival that open surgery did. Through these smaller incisions, patients can recover quicker, be out of the hospital sooner, have less pain medications, and return to eating sooner. Thymomas are tumors that arise in the thymus gland. Many times it is operable and many times surgical treatment of thymomas is amazingly successful with about cure rates that are in excess of 80 to 90 percent. We now do this completely laparoscopically. We were early innovators and adopters of minimally invasive surgery. We published on this on a national level early on showing that minimally invasive lung surgery, for example, decreased length of stay, decreased narcotic use. Our goal is to get you through this process where you'll be in the hospital only for a few days after a minimally invasive approach. You should leave here feeling confident that we're gonna take care of you as a family member and that the ability to not only be treated but cured is what we're discussing.